Hello guys, welcome back to the RB Leipzig career mode in episode 9. We're not far now from the end of the season and possibly the end of the series. We've managed to do really well so far. You'll see obviously in this episode we have the Champions League games. The quarterfinals are in this one, I believe. It's been a while since I've played these matches. But as you know, well, I, I, can't, I can't even remember to honest what happened in the last episode. We've... I was going to say, as you know, the injuries, I believe the injuries were in the last one. It's been so long, I should have uh, got myself a bit aware of that. But we've had to be playing the 4-4-1-1 as of recent. Flozhek being the striker up front. And oh my god, what a start to the episode this was. The cross from Adamola Lukman. And he just... Like, Adam Flozhek, he's been, no joke, one of my favourite signings I think I've ever made on a FIFA career mode. Ever. Not just on YouTube, just in general. Because we signed him for like something around the 20 million euro mark or so when he was in like his mid 70s like 76 77 rated something like that and he's just been absolutely unreal for us you know i think i think he's our top scorer now this season at this point in time and he is you know he reminds me of harland when he first went to dortmund you know sort of the young a youngster sort of being signed and everyone sort of he's got quite a bit of hype and then he just performs ridiculously well as you see gets a second here against Frankfurt at home and having that goal score up front has helped us so much in the league and the Champions League as well because we're pushing for the title this season in my opinion look at this 19 goals in 24 games that's really really impressive for a new signing isn't it really so as you'll probably guess I was very happy uh, that he's doing so well. It took him a while to get started. I remember, I think he got his first goal against PSG in the Champions League, and it took him. So that was quite a few games before he scored. But he does get himself a hat trick in this match. Just an unbelievable player. Just an unbelievable player. I've really enjoyed using him. <clears throat> uh, now, this episode, you'll see, I've done it a couple times this series where we're winning by a big margin in, at half time, very comfortably as well. So I wanted to get the game finished basically and so I quite often will simulate the uh, second half or you know the rest of the game at that point in time. So you'll see throughout this video it does happen one or two well, on one or two occasions. But next we faced Borussia Dortmund away. Now we've had another issue again with the recording where the first goal I've had to just cut out because I think I think it's to do with the fact sometimes when I'm recording episodes if there's like too much on my storage at the time it m will often sort of skip bits so and it g gl glitches out and stuff so I'm sorry I've, I've tried to fix it once I finish this series I'll be able to remove all the files that OBS has got saved on here um, and then well it's not series but season I should say because I don't know when it is going to finish or not but that should be able to help the issue but we do manage to equalize against Dortmund in the first half you might not have seen any of the uh, highlights because there weren't really many shot creating actions but they were definitely the better side however in the second half we turned it around Lookman was starting up front in this game as well I was trying this out for this section of recording I should say because you know we don't have another striker other than Hojek so trying it out it was not going to be a bad idea but the keeper throws it away really easily and using the direct passing we can play it around and we get ourselves our third goal, Callum hudson Adoy, the Englishman who we signed in the summer. He's been a bit underwhelming. I was expecting him to do a bit better, if I'm being totally honest. The amount of games is that the games is games is the amount of games that he's started this series. He should have a couple more in his stats, in my opinion, on goals and assists. But it's not too bad as long as he scores on the right occasion, then we'll be okay. Then this was. Uh, this is, this was a game where of two halves. That's the best way to describe it. Is it was just one of those matches, and uh, late on we managed to get ourselves a fourth goal. It didn't. Qu it, it was a bit unexpected to be honest. I just sort of, you'll see, I whip the ball in. Lookman finds himself in some space. First time hits it with his left foot, and it goes in. And that was going to be that game. Four-one away at Signal Dew in the Park against really uh, title. Well, are they title rivals? I think they're, they're, I guess you can in terms of their squad, in terms of where they are on the table, though. Not really, but that was going to be a hat trick for Luckman. Three goals in three attempts. 
Next, we had a Champions League tie against Villarreal. As you know, we've got them in the quarterfinals. They are a pretty difficult team to come against in Korea, I think. Um, they've got some good players in there. Gerald Moreno, uh, Arnaud Danjuma as well as signed in the summer from Bournemouth. He's done really well in real life for them. Uh, so it was going to be a bit of a tough game, but again, like with the uh, the Atalanta fixture, I was very confident, and that's what you need. You know, if you've got th this team, I, f I felt really confident in this tie that I was going to make it to the semis, and that was really reflecting on our performance. We did really well. Plojet getting himself his second goal of the game. The assist from Angelino as well, who's also been an incredible player for us this season. Done so well really to get to this point you know we were expected just to get to the quarters which is this stage but we've done more than that so well, not so not more than that necessarily but we've done well we've done well to get here so I guess we could say we've done it in a bit of a better fashion and we've done more than get to the quarter final because of the group stage that we had playing you know against PSG and Manchester City in real life Leipzig got knocked out of their one um, but then we did simulate against Hoffenheim t in this match I managed to draw it 1-0 was very frustrated by that because simulations in uh, FIFA 22 are actually really bad. Like, if you can try and avoid it because you quite often will not be getting the result you deserve. So it just gets really, really frustrating. But we then had the second leg of the Champions League tie against Villarreal, trying to get ourselves off to a really good start. Very aggressive on the front foot right at the start of the game. Klojic has this attempt saved was expecting him to score it but you know you can't score every single chance you get but like I say two nil up uh, in this from the first leg we should we should be going through very comfortably in this game again I was very confident going into the game that we'd win but unfortunately that wasn't going to be the case at the start in the 40th minute there they managed to get a goal back in the time making it 2-1 so it's sort of it puts the pressure on us it means we, they know they can score against us However, when we kick off, Angelino goes on a bit of amazing dribble, plays it for Hlozhek. Keeper could have got to that if he went, if he kept going for it, he would have got it. But he stopped halfway through and decided to run back to his goal and Hlozhek uh, pounces on that opportunity. We then get into the second half here and Hlozhek turns the game around, making it 2-1 on the night, 4-1 on aggregate. And we look very much set to advance to the next stage of the Champions League which is the semi-finals and the team we get it's going to be a challenge guys that's all I'm going to say is it's going to be a challenge but we breeze past Villarreal here we do actually simulate the rest of the game it's 5-1 in aggregate I'm not bothered so like I say we're in the semis and I'm very very happy about it now we face Leverkusen who are definitely uh, a title contender know who we're definitely fighting against but with the point gap between Bayern Munich Leipzig and the rest of the table it would take some a miracle for a club like Leverkusen in their position I think they're a third but like five or six points off us it would take them it would take quite a lot for them to be able to win the title but they were definitely the better side in this tie they had a goal disallowed for being offside we had Lutman starting up top again we then whips the ball in to Shabosla, I believe it was, yes it is, and he scores it on his head and we end up taking the lead in the second half. It was definitely a, a challenging game. Because like I say, Leverkusen, the, the Bundesliga, there's so many, it's such an open league in terms of the, the quality of players and the quality of the teams that you have in there. You have some teams who are not that good, but because the league isn't as competitive as let's say the Premier League is or La Liga is, they won't necessarily be relegated. You know, like Freiburg in real life, they're fighting for a title in Champions League football. Then you've got teams like Mönchengladbach, who were in the Champions League last season, who are now fighting relegation. So it's it's a, it's, it's a quite funny league, but we give away the clean sheet. Adama Traore, a new signing for them, pounces on the loose ball. And I was very frustrated that we couldn't get that clean sheet, because we definitely deserved it. That was going to be a 2-1 win another three points in the league as well we then simulated this game against Union Berlin seeing as we beat them 5-0 or something last time we faced them it was going to be an easy win 2-1 two, two, win there and that's very very good for us and you'll see here we have the semi-finals against Barcelona that will be in the next episode so if you did enjoy it please leave a like subscribe if you are new around here 
and I'll see you guys in episode 10 very soon.